lot of pains that everybody are facing in this industry. Anybody knows us, they talk me. I beg, make them question us. I beg, make them question us. Make lights, make lights there. This industry, everybody's just dark. Everybody's dark. Why? Make lights day now. Make lights day. Make every make lights day. So anybody go feel even they come outside, they talk with him. Everybody now just they fear. If you get gang now, you will be artist. You never do cuts like this now. Now, now, why? Why that? Why? Why you be like that? You artist, you never do cuts. Now, why? May they ask, may they, may they, because like this now, them salary all those people, they, they force that guy make you do one cut where you know like. Yes, I ain't be all these things where they happen. Make anybody they hear. They, they, they won't make you do cuts where you know like. What did they happen? What did they happen? Make you they do cuts where you know like. What did they happen? Huh? Now that's the trust in the boy, see the boy die. What did they happen? Uh -uh. If you never join cuts for this for this industry, sure you know go make a me. Ah, uh, person never join cuts. Now while I for now, you cannot just do your music on your own and feel happy. Once you do cuts, you never do cuts while you, 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 you don't do cuts. Nobody go, nobody go, no, you know, go damn is you know, big head. Why? You could get if you need. It's a good thing that uh, social media is being used positively, apart from the negativity that exists also in it. The young man that spoke us really hit the nail mm, yeah he has done so our society particularly the music industry just like what he said you cannot fly in that industry if you do not belong to some society if you do not join some you know maybe some dark illicit evil demonic, wicked, or just getting yourself involved in some form of crime. From your popular music artist down to those that are just upcoming, all of them belong to one society or the other. If those societies are progressive, we'll say, why? Is there a big deal? After all, churches have denomination. Even in churches, you have different society. There is no big deal about being part of a society or being part of a fraternity or sorority, whatever, as long as it is for progress. But unfortunately, what we have is simply a group of, you know, evil people, group of misdirected people. That's what we have. From Naira Mali down to whoever. Even though he denied, he said they wanted him to be part of their fraternity or cult. And he said, no, I cannot be part of this cult. He said in life, before he came to Nigeria, many of them could be seen showing one affiliation to one cult or the other. That is how it rolls. That's how it works. If you don't belong to that cult, you will not be permitted. You will not be allowed. You will not be permitted to do anything. You will be bullied. You will be beaten. There is nothing that will not happen to you. That's what it is. This kind of connects to Mobad also. They wanted him to be part of this. They wanted him to be part of that. And even when you are part of it, you still have to obey certain people who are maybe top dogs. You still have to obey and respect them. You still have to do what they want. You still have to follow others, even if what you are being told goes against humanity, goes against your belief, goes against your religion. Your allegiance is to your cult, not your parents. Not your, your, your loved ones. No, it is to that cult. They direct, they dictate what they expect of you. Just name them. Name whoever it is that you know in this industry. Your popular music artists. Name them. Name them. 
just name them. They all belong to one society or the other, one cult or the other. And those cults that they belong to, what they do, their modus operandi in those cults, their orientation in those cults are not progressive. That's it. From your music artists that are as old as 45, 50, they belong to this society. That is the structure. That is what they've laid down. So what do you expect? How then do you expect the lyrics to be different? How do you expect that these things will not happen? So this is what this young one is crying out, saying that, let there be light. Let there be light shined. Because you can't speak if you talk. They have all their, you know, goons here and there that they will send to attack you. That's how it works. When Mubad was screaming, he wasn't screaming only because there are a handful of people. He knows that they have contacts here and there. People that they can call on phone and say, oh, that boy is performing in Korudu. Let this group of our people go and delete him, disgrace him, beat him up. When he went to the UK, he was afraid. He couldn't mix with people because he knows that they are there. Just a phone call, get that guy down, erase him, delete him. He knows, he has seen, he himself was there, he saw, he knew, he knows what happened to people around him and what could happen to him. It's a big web. It's a big web. It's not just a uh, the cult in, 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 in universities, it's, it's, it's everywhere, it's in your street, even illiterate. Uh, mechanic, uh, mechanic, mechanic is even a, a, a good job. I'm talking of that boy on the street that has no teeth, his face are battered, he's a criminal, he's a thief, he's, 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 he's just, if you know what I mean, he will tell you that he belongs to this fraternity and that he is this is that and this is what they do and that he can do this to you he can do that and that this is how it works so if you are <laughs> thinking justice for mobad is just justice for mobad you are you are sitting on a long tail no. this thing is deeper than the deepest it is deeper than the deepest it is not possible to have healthy music industry in nigeria it's not healthy at all they are uncontrollable. That's the problem. They are unproductive. The whatever they join, they are part of is the their orientation in whatever they do is unproductive. Mention them. Just mention them. There is nobody among them that is immune. All of them. All of them. Forget their shows in America, all over the world, their tour. Mention one and look closely. You will realize that they belong to one cult or the other so how then do you think you will get justice justice from who justice by who uh, no please explain how how is this possible it's not possible don't let us fool ourselves we have to deal with the cancer when you belong to whatever it is that you belong to if it is for progress uh, then it's a different thing but if it is not for progress then you know what it is all of them so don't look at uh, one music artist and some group and embrace them and think they are they are they are good people no it's because their own shit is not yet busted out all of them go and check there is a lot of dirty things happening there's a lot of bad things happening a lot of bad things happening that's why the young man said let there be light let there be light because there is too much from the top, from the most popular to the, all of them belong to one thing or the other, and they involve themselves in evil, wicked things. Just like one of them went to a club somewhere in Lagos Island with his mobile policeman. They, you know, one of the 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 music artist called a lady, someone else's wife, to come and sit with him, with the other women that he's sitting with. He wants to kind of uh, bully them. He wants to bully these people. These are Nigerians in Nigeria. They came up from abroad. A man and his wife in the club, sitting down. One of them, you know, this is your music artist. Grandma boy pointed at one of the women, said, come. And the man is like, this is disrespect. How can you call someone else's woman? Obviously, you know what happened? 
at the end of the day, images of the police officers, they shot at these people. I'm saying real life, they shot at them right at the club. Bullet holes on their body. What happened to the old story till today? And the Nigerian police said and they are going to um, discipline the police officer. This Brenner boy guy disappeared out of Nigeria for some time. Maybe he did not even. Maybe he went down to Spain to stay somewhere in an hotel and eventually returned back. Till today, is there anything about it? Those people that uh, he shot, what happened? Did the Nigerian police say, it's okay, don't make any noise. We will take care of it. We will give you some money. And, the, and what, what exactly happened? We're talking of a lawless country. A country where anything goes. As long as you are popular, you have money, forget it. You can take anybody's life. Take anybody's life. And that's it. It will be swept under the carpet. It depends on how big you are. The bigger you are, the less your shit will be put out there. They will cover it up quickly. They will cover it up and remove you from it. That's how it works. So guys, I don't know what your thoughts are as regards this one. Drop your comment, like and share. See you guys in the next update.